Welcome to Getting It Done Earth of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to change the pin on your Craftsman garage door keypad. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is come to the motor unit. And right here you're going to see a learn button. You're going to push that. And you see the light comes on, you have 30 seconds to go enter your new pin of choice. Okay, you have 30 seconds to press the four digit pin number of your choice. So we'll just go the one, two, three, four, and then press enter. So once you press enter, the light will flash, or if you don't have a bulb in it, you'll hear two clicks, and then you'll know that the pin has been saved. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to set a temporary pin on your keypad. You may wanna do this in case you wanna give someone a temporary code so they have temporary access to your garage, like a repairman or a family member or a cleaner, something like that. So this is how you set a temporary pin. You press in your current pin. One, two, three, four. And then you press the star. Your lights on your motor unit will blink three times. Now you're gonna enter a new four digit temporary pin. Let's go with two, five, two, five. And we're gonna click enter. Your motor lights now will blink four times. Now you can enter the number of hours for your temporary pin or enter the number of openings for your temporary pin. So if you want to enter the number of hours for your temporary pin, you can type in something like three hours, and then you're gonna press the star button, and your lights will blink once. Now, if you want to set the number of openings for a temporary pin, you would do the same. Let's say you want the person to give them access to four openings. You click the four, and then you would hit the pound button. Now your temporary pin is learned. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.